Hey friends, I just wanted to hop on and um, just talk to you about life. I know I get deep sometimes, but I feel like these messages need to be shared. Um, and I've had, I've had messages back saying it really helps them with their day or whatever. Um, so I just thought I'd get on and talk to you about the shortness of life. And yeah, if it's too deep of a topic, shut me down. <laughs> I'm not going to be for everybody. Um, the thing is, uh, a friend of mine, her husband, um, passed away suddenly in a tragic accident a few days ago. And whenever this happens, I mean, obviously people in the last probably five years, we've had quite a few people we know, like friends, um, not family, but friends that have just died in some tragic accident or something. And it's just mind blowing. And I, you know, and you, you start thinking about your life and how short it is, but then you just go back to the normal day to day things that you're doing like, a you know, week later, of course you're sad about that person, but, and you think about your life and how, how short it is, but then we just go back and we do our thing. Right. And I don't think we think about it enough. And I'm just, I'm not saying, you know, uh, grieve every day or, but I just think that we should be really, really aware of how short our life is. And so this, um, this friend's husband passed and he, and he, well, he died suddenly and he was only 51. And I, you know, I just wonder if he lived, he lived his life to the fullest because he was a great dad and he was a great husband and, and those things. But I wonder if he died with like dreams left in him and things that he always wanted to do, but just never got around to it. Um, and I'm just like urging you as well as myself, if you're thinking about doing something or you have this dream or you have um, something that you keep on putting off because the kids are too young or you don't have enough money or you don't have enough time or um, you're not good enough, these kind of things, if you were to die, let's say, you know, in a couple of weeks from now, um, it would be tragic to know that you died with like that dream still left in you. You didn't do the things that you wanted to do. You know what? Life's too short. I'm, I'm going for it. Like, honestly, I have a list of things and I'm going for it. And I'm also really trying to be more intentional with my family. I love working and that has consumed me a lot of times. And so I'm really making an effort. I want to be home earlier. I want to hang out with the kids. Um, you know, and I want to help around the house, these kind of things, you know, I sometimes put off for work and I really want to be more intentional because when I die, um, actually I did a goal setting course, uh, not too long ago. And part of the, um, part of it was writing your obituary and it was, it was mind blowing, uh, to think of what they're going to say about you at your funeral. And it was emotional, you know, when I started writing it, but how are you going to know? Like, I want people to say certain things about me and I haven't even come close to getting to be that person that, you know, I want things to be said about me. They're not gonna say at my funeral, wow, she sold a hundred houses a year. Wow, she made so much money. Wow, you know, that's, so that's not really what people remember about you. So. My question to you is, are we making an impact on the people around us? Are we present in the moment? Are we giving them the time? And are we really living our dream? Are we working at a job that sucks and, you know, we're dreading going into work every single day? Um, it's a terrible use of your time. So, of course, money's important, but God gifted us with, you know, different abilities. And I think that a lot of people are not using them just because they feel like their job is secure. Anyways, that's my little rant for today. I know it was long, <laughs> but I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. See ya.